there's two types of septums, straight ones and crooked ones. Crooked one we call a deviated septum, okay? So we have a septum that's deviated. Now where people get thrown is they go, well, if it's deviated to one side, sure, you know, this side's blocked, but hey, this side's really open, so it's okay. There's a problem. What happens is uh, the, the nose basically is like a seesaw, a balancing type thing, um, where if you ever sort of get on the seesaw, back in the day when we had seesaws, um, and you try and get two kids to balance each other, one kid would move a bit closer because they were a bit heavier, so they'd work out that they could balance by shifting their position. Well, with the nose, with these turbinate things, there's this thing called the nasal cycle. And what it's trying to do is it's trying to equalize how much air is going through each side, but it overshoots. So it's like that kid that is adjusting itself and it sort of moves too far one way, so it moves back a bit more. So these turbinates are going like this, but they don't do it quickly. They do it over the space of about four hours. So it's what we call the nasal cycle. And what they're trying to do is sort of, you know, from the, the, the most open to the most blocked, is to get things the same on each side. So if you have a deviated septum, what happens over time is that the turbinate on the side that the septum is going towards will have a tendency to be smaller, to open up the space, but the one on the open space will have a tendency to get bigger so that things are equal. So you actually end up with a blocked nose and there's, there's two, well, there's, actually there's three scenarios when that's the case. Some people notice they get a blocked nose, okay? And they notice it's blocked on both sides, so that's one scenario. Um, 